where I was brought up, probably being an outsider a little bit, you know, sport for me was our, our way of moving up, you know, getting out in the streets and playing pickup games and the way that's shaped, you know, my identity as a coach, you know, I'm always looking for those guys to kind of earn their way. If you come to Notre Dame, you know, your actions on this campus are going to speak as loud, if not louder, than what you do on the football field. You know, that's why our guys are very successful when they leave here because they're prepared for what life is going to hand them. Good morning. You hear the bus? Yes, sir. Okay, you can park anywhere you like. Thank you. When we talk about what a Notre Dame man is, it's that they're able to handle life. And if you're involved with them on a day-to-day -day basis, you can relate. When I played, the head coach maybe talked to you twice a week, you know? And, and if he did, you were excited about it. Today, if the head coach talked to you twice, um, you, you'd probably think about transferring. It's just a different age. And so uh, it requires much more high touch and, and making certain that you can relate. And, and I, I just want to, I want, I want everybody to understand this. Change is going to happen in this country, but it can't happen if you don't keep using your voice. And you can use it in many ways. One is by ballot, right? So keep your voice active, be an agent for change. That's my message to everybody. Be an agent for change. Now, I want to see us physically beat Clemson. Let's show them how we do it. What's happened during this time is it's freed them up on Saturdays to go play because there's just so much else going on in the world today that their game has improved because of it. So I think that we take a, a different perspective on Saturdays now uh, going through what we've gone through.